So welcome back. Today we're going to talk about Power Pepper. So Power Pepper is a malware that's getting some more attention. Recently, it was known to be targeting financial institutions and gathering information from different business entities. So it was originally, I think it was observed in 2012, and then again in 2018 by Kaspersky. But right now it's showing to, sh to have more capabilities, and more advanced features. So just to get started on some of the techniques that we've observed through research, it uses DNS over HTTPS for a C2 using Cloudflare's responders. The malware also posed the C2 server for commands by sending text type DNS requests to the same server associated with the C2 domain. The response is also embedded with an encrypted command and those commands are determined by the adversary themselves. It first tries to leverage Excel as a web client with PowerShell as a fallback also has a fallback option of using regular DNS if the DNS over HTTPS doesn't work. It also uses steganography, which it was previously known for as an evasive technique by embedding malicious code and pictures of ferns and peppers. And that's where it's got its name from, Power Pepper. Part of the obfuscation of the scripts is delivered in hidden word embedded objects, and sometimes they use other Microsoft product objects or files. According to research, the use of trusted signed scripts gives it the ability to hide from many antivirus products and vendors. Some of the other evasive techniques that's been observed is the ability to respond to mouse movements. So we know it has mouse movement detection capabilities. It also has MAC address, address filtering capabilities, Excel application handling, and one of the most advanced features that it has is an antivirus product library, which it gives it the ability to determine its execution flow to hide from the way the antivirus and stuff responds to different malware families. So right now, that's what research shows about Power Pepper and it's currently just targeting financial institutions. Some of the capabilities and the way that the malware works doesn't correlate to APTs or state-sponsored state um, entities or criminal organizations. So further research has to be done. But for now, that's all I have, and see you next time.